young man, the Matrix, the WEF, whatever you want to call it, the elite establishment, Bill Gates, Klaus Schwab, the evil government, whatever. This is not affecting your life. It's not controlling you. This is not impacting you. By focusing on this, you're getting the exact opposite of what you're trying to achieve, which is freedom and power. You're sitting around right now, affected by this based culture that's infecting the internet, which is really just a ploy to use your frustration to gain your attention for the enrichment of others. You might be sitting around thinking, the world is terrible. The world's just the worst thing that's ever existed. It's not. This might be contrary to what you're reading on Twitter and your Discord channels. It's not. I've sat in my house for the last 15 years in gym shorts, quite like I am right now. I haven't left my house. I built multiple businesses and generated hundreds of millions of dollars. I have a six pack. I have really good health. I have a nice girlfriend. I have a big house. And I did this coming out of the military. I was I was definitely part of the matrix then. Look at me there. Look at me. I'm just ready to go punch babies and stuff. How was I able to do this? How was I able to do this? It's because the world isn't that bad. At no time in this 15 year period did the matrix or Klaus Schwab or some evil establishment elite show up at my house and stop me from working or ruin my business or force me to eat cupcakes and adopt bad health or use TikTok. It never happened, not once. They never came a single time. The Matrix is not in the room with you right now. It's probably not coming to your house. Claus Swab is not gonna show up and stop you from hitting what you want in life. I hate to break it to you, but what everyone is complaining about in this base culture, it's just 1960s hippie culture where people get together and complain and moan and blame everyone else for something that's gone wrong in their life. But unlike the 1960s, you're living in the best time to ever possibly be alive. You are more empowered. You have more access. And if you're watching this video on a streaming service right now, you have more connections to do anything and achieve anything in your life than any other human has in human history. But you know what the problem is? You know what, you know what the point of this video is? Instead of taking hold of that and using that to make yourself an extremely wealthy man and get all the things you want out of life right now, you're sitting around being frustrated and distracted and trying to figure out these problems that you can't solve and are also not really affecting you. This is this is just a culture war, like a culture war has always been going on in the United States or around the world for literally forever. And in 15 years from now, there'll be another culture war and this culture war will have forgotten about you and all your attempts and ploys and schemes to try and change it. And it will pay you back no ROI. It will just leave you behind like a red light used hooker. The influencers that you are paying attention to and worshiping right now, they'll leave with all the, the courses and CDs and books and nonsense they've sold you. They'll, they'll leave with that money and then they'll just go hang out with their family and friends and they'll just be like, ah, man, we were really angry back then. But you, you will pay the price because you're sitting around angry, frustrated, and distracted when at this moment right now, I again stress, you're living in the best time to ever be a human. You might tell me, oh, it's so bad right now. The government is evil. They're doing all these weird evil things. Yeah, that's completely true. There's a bunch of evil and it seems like satanic people running all the tech companies and the corporations and they're all together uh, trying to take away rights and do all sorts of weird stuff. Oh, yeah, it is. It does seem bad. But you, you know that the Matrix used to be a lot worse than this, right? You know, like just a few generations ago, there was no internet. There was no opposing view. You couldn't go and separate truth from lies. You had to go with the system that was laid out. You had to go to college. You had to do all these things. You had to get a loan from the banks. There was no other education source because all there was was books. And you know what the, the Matrix liked to do then? It liked to show up at your house and ship you off to Vietnam. Oh, you think, you think being censored from Twitter or uh, YouTube is bad right now? Imagine some guy coming up to your house and goes, hey, you're going to go fight a bunch of angry Vietnamese people Th that it, in tunnels. And it, they're just going to want to kill you and they just hate you. That would have been really bad. You know, in American history, there was once actually times where we had to pay 90% taxes. You didn't even get to keep your money. If you look back through the records of all the nonsense that's gone on in America, you'll, you'd realize that um, this is not even like peak nonsense. You're, you're actually doing okay right now. Now, am I saying that you should overlook and not be aware of what's going on in the world and everything's going on? No, I have multiple passports. I'm very aware of everything that's going on. It's one of the reasons why I'm making this video and I don't focus on this because the only way to really deal with these things is to gain power and influence, which ties into the point. Is, is Andrew Tate right that there's uh, elite people running the world and doing all sorts of weird stuff that we don't like right now? Yes, he's 100% he's right. There's nothing you can do about it. And I hate to break this to you. This is how humans have worked forever. It's not some new thing. Like people on Twitter acting like 
humans have been like these ethical creatures for like the last hundred years, but suddenly when TikTok came online and OnlyFans popped up, oh, oh we we really hit the nail. Oh, that thing's gone overboard now. No, you silly goose. If you look at the pharmaceutical industry, look at the health industry and all the poisons that are being shipped to us right now, all the manipulation of us, th this is how it's always been. This is how it's always been. Businessmen have gained power by creating addictive products or manipulative products, and they've used it to make lots and lots of money. This has been going on for hundreds of years. If you look at the Industrial Revolution, oh man, if you look at the stuff Rockefeller and, and Carnegie did, look at what all those industrial times did. You think, you think our billionaires are bad. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, there's never been a time in history where weak or average people were not treated like cattle. Is, is that nice? Does that make me sound like an elitist? Yes, it does. But uh, I don't want to sit here and lie to you. The only people who have done well in the world, in the history of the world, are people that obtained power, wealth, worked really hard, made themselves very valuable, and that's it. There's never been a point in the world where a handful of families didn't control everything. There's, there's 150, 200 families. There's no governments. There's just these families. They control everything. That's how it is. There's this game. There's this system. And the only way you can actually do well in the system is you gain enough money and power that you can leave the system or you can at least defend yourself from the system or you have choice inside the system. If not, you get moved on to the cattle lane. That's how it is. Now, here's the point of this video. This is the one time in history where you actually have the power to escape all of it. It's the best time to ever be alive. At any point in time, you can get on the internet and learn how to do anything. You don't have to go to college. You don't have to fall for loans. You have access to all the health information you could ever need. This is the absolute best time, most empowered time for any human to be alive. You sitting here right now have the power to build incredible wealth, incredible health, incredible lifestyle, simply by effort alone. This is not something that anybody had. Even 20 years ago, the internet didn't exist. When I first got into business, it was impossible to find people teaching you how to do business, um, <clears throat> reach optimal health. You had to dig deep in the forums. Now there's people volunteering it willingly on YouTube. People are experts at it. There was no Alex Hamozzi 15 years ago teaching people to run businesses. There was no endless weightlifting and fitness channels teaching you how to get perfect health. There was just weird little forums where you just chatted. You just go to bodybuilding.com and be like, hey, does anybody know like how to eat protein powder right? That's how the world was. And you're telling me it's so hard right now. You can get on the internet, you can clearly see what's the truth or a lie. It's so easy to see what the mainstream media is lying about. It's so easy to see who's full of crap. It's so easy to see what systems have been built that are manipulative and, and don't help people, like colleges, for example. Just, just go look, it's just right there. And you're telling me it's bad, the, everyone's brainwashed. No, no, people used to actually really be brainwashed because there was no other counter media. Now you have it. You are empowered. Everything in your life is good. And if you just use these tools, Klaus Swab, I promise you, is not gonna show up at your house and try and tar and feather you. Yeah, some really weird things have happened, but your only way out of it is putting your head down and focusing and getting the fucking work. There's never been a time in history where a bunch of whiny complainers got together and changed anything. Look at the 1960s hippies. There's a Vietnam War going on and the government was doing all sorts of loopy stuff and Richard Nixon was corrupt and blah, 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 blah. All these people got together and they just, the, the establishment's bad, the establishment's bad, they're manipulating us, the man, the man. Does, does, does this sound, you know, similar to what's going on right now? There is all these hippie leaders leading all these people and also selling stuff on the side and making money from it. And um, at the end of all of it, the culture war moved on. The elites did nothing. They didn't change anything because they don't care what you have to say. It doesn't matter. You have to have power to affect them. They moved on. All the people and influencers then, they moved on. All the people that sat around griping and whining were distracted the whole entire time and wasted all their time, all their energy and focus. Uh, they were just left behind. They got nothing. And that's going to happen to you if you get involved in all this based culture where influence stuff. You are living, again, in the best time to be alive, the most empowered time to be alive. And you're choosing, if you're part of this, to complain. And instead of using every ounce of your energy and focus to alleviate this, this problem that is going on and empower yourself, enrich yourself, make yourself healthy, you're, you're inside saying, no, 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 I'm going to take my hard drive. I'm going to dedicate it towards the culture war. What a waste. What a waste, <clears throat> because participating in this culture war is gonna give you no ROI. The only thing that's going to save you, the only thing that's going to give you any form of defense is gaining power. And you know how to do that? You turn off all this crap. You, you stop looking at these influencers who are essentially, I hate to break it to you, they find out what you're frustrated about. They realize they can get lots of likes and attention if they just keep complaining. How many YouTube channels do you see and all they do is complain about the left and wokies? And then what do they do? Oh, they make, money from doing that. 
And then they also start selling stuff. They make a lot of money doing it. You notice a lot of people on the base side are getting rich. Did you did you notice Ben Shapiro is making like a hundred million dollars a year now? Making you mad? Kind of strange. Did you notice when wokeness was becoming a thing? What happened with all the woke influencers? Uh, they started making all this money. They got rich from being woke and making woke people mad. And then, they, then they're then they just kind of fading into the shadows now. They're going to go live their life, life and be rich and all the woke people are going to be left around embarrassed. Well, what do you think's happening right here? You need to stop fighting a war for the culture war. You need to stop fighting a war for influencer. You need to start only focusing on the war for yourself. Because the only thing that's gonna pay you ROIs for your focus energy is your focus on you. Not this. Not dedicating your attention to other people and what they want you to be mad about. No, take all that power back, put the blinders on, get to work. Because for the rest of your life, the world is gonna be controlled by a handful of families. For the rest of your life, there's going to be elites and average people who don't enrich themselves, don't take control of their lives. They're going to be treated like cattle. That's how it is. They're, they're going to be told stupid things. They're going to believe stupid things. They're going to be sold things that hurt them for a profit. And that's how it's going to work. That's how it's always worked. Whether the right's in power, whether the left's in power, that's how power works. And your only way to survive in this whirlpool is to become powerful yourself. You have to become powerful yourself because all the world is is just these very powerful people creating this whirlpool and everyone's stuck in it and being thrown all around the place. They think, man, this whirlpool is just nasty, but it's really just these people pulling the strings right here. You need to get the power to either build yourself a giant boat so that the whirlpool just can't bother you or you can get so powerful you can climb out of the whirlpool and you can start pushing the people back actually directly. You know why Mark Zuckerberg and all these people can control your speech? It's because they worked really hard and gained a lot of power. That, that's how they can do it. They didn't sit around complaining on Twitter. If you want to actually fight back, this is important to you, you need to gain power. You don't need to be complaining. You don't need to be trying to solve problems and arguing on Twitter. You just need to be gaining money and power. Or if you're like me, and if noticed, the world is actually pretty damn neat. There's a lot of really fun stuff to do. There's a lot of cool stuff to enjoy, and no one's really gonna stop you from doing that, as long as you keep your head on a swivel, stay wise. You can just gain a lot of power, money, and achieve all the things you want in your life. I've, I'm coming pretty close to it right now. I have everything I ever wanted. Well, you can just do that too. And then when the Matrix and the elites start acting up, and you don't like what they're doing, you just move. You just you just move. There's, there's plenty of places in the world where uh, whatever cultural views you have, they completely agree with you. Just go there. That's it. Or you can just spend all your time, energy, and focus being angry about all this stuff and the Matrix, which is gonna give you new ROI. So that's it. If, if you want to actually gain power, you want to actually have control of your life, you want to actually escape the matrix, shut the fuck up, stop whining, get to work.